Hello everyone, welcome to A plus BI. This channel is all about complex numbers and in this video we're going to be solving an equation with complex numbers. We have z minus 1 divided by, I mean z minus 1 equals i divided by z minus i and we're going to be solving for z values. At this point I'd like you to make a guess, see what the solution might look like and then we'll check our work. So not write that down, okay? I'll be presenting two methods. By the way, if you're new to complex numbers, go ahead and check out my lecture videos. I made a playlist, kind of broke down uh, the topic, basic complex numbers into small pieces. All right, great. So let's start with the first method. And we can solve this problem in three ways, by the way. Uh, but the third method I'm not going to talk about, okay? Because that's for you to find out. Or I can give you some clues if you want. Anyways. First method, I'm going to go ahead and cross multiply. Obviously, this is kind of like the obvious method, right? I mean, if you have a fraction, you'll probably cross multiply. And second method is going to use a whole different idea. Anyways, let's go ahead and distribute, right? If you distribute, you're going to get z squared minus zi minus z plus i equals i. How nice. i cancels out. Beautiful. And if it didn't, we would put everything on the same side and we would get a quadratic equation. We're still going to get a quadratic equation, but it's going to be a lot easier to solve. And because it doesn't have a constant term. Make sense? So I can kind of write this as z squared minus the quantity 1 plus i z equals 0. So this is kind of like an incomplete quadratic, which is nice because these, these are easier to solve. So I'm basically talking about when you have a z squared plus b, b z plus c equals 0, that's kind of like a full quadratic. But if c is equal to 0, then you have this type of quadratic. And if z is also equal to 0, then obviously the only solution is 0, right? That's not very interesting. But the second one is kind of interesting. And this is an easy kind of quadratic because you don't have to use the formula. I mean, you can if you want, but there's no point. Maybe, maybe there is. I don't know. So uh, f first of all, I'm going to show you two quick sub approaches here. First one is factor out the z and you're going to get z minus 1 plus i equals 0. And from zero product property, such a weird name, right? You're going to get z equals 0 or z equals 1 plus i. So since this is quadratic, there should be two complex solutions, right? And with multiplicities, of course, sometimes you'll have a double root, but that still counts because of the multiplicity. Cool. So that's one way to approach it. Another way to approach it is we can kind of put this on the right hand side and then consider the following. First of all, notice that we have z on both sides. So z equals zero is an obvious solution because if z is zero, zero equals zero. Makes sense? And then that's one of the solutions. And then now let's assume that z does not equal 0. So we can divide both sides by z. And that's going to give us the second solution. How nice, right? I mean, you kind of quickly get the solution. No matter what you do, you're going to get these two solutions straightforward, right? OK, cool. So that was the first method. Let's go ahead and take a look at the second method. I hope you're going to like it. And please let me know which method you like better, because that's important for me. So for my second method, that kind of occurred to me actually after I did the first method, like, okay, I think there's another way to approach this problem. Obviously, you can't generalize this method, so it's not ideal, but that's okay. Because sometimes these kinds of things, you know, work and it's worth a try. Anyways, what am I talking about? We're going to flip both sides and you'll see in a little bit why this is helpful. Actually, uh, I think you don't even have to go that far. Think about it this way. I have i over z minus i, which cannot be separated because the denominator is a sum, right? Or a difference, whatever. But if I had the reciprocal, then it could be separated. So in other words, a over b minus c cannot be separated, but b minus c over a can. So that's what, what I did. Flip. Okay, great. But uh, is this really going to be a good thing to do? Absolutely. You'll see. First of all, separate these two things and write it as z over i minus i over i, which is 1. And then... This is the magical step, or should I say mathematical? Yes, I think it's mathematical. I'm going to add one to both sides. So we're going to put this one on the left hand side because I have a z minus one. Take a look at that and see what it's going to do. It's just going to do miracles. When you add one, of course, you're basically making a common denominator and 
Ta-da! That's going to give you Z in the numerator, which is awesome. Beautiful. You know why? Because when you compare these two fractions, look at them. They have the same numerator. You know what I'm talking about? You have something like A over B equals A over C. What is that supposed to tell you? B equals C, right? Probably. Maybe cross multiply and get AC equals AB. And then from here, cancel out the A. Uh-oh, you got to be careful because A can be zero. What about this? If A is zero, then if B and C are different from zero, then this will work as well because zero divided by B is zero divided by C when B and C are both non-zero. Make sense? So from here, I can say two things. Z is equal to zero will satisfy, and the denominators cannot be zero if Z is zero. Notice that. And the other idea is when the denominators are equal, right? Obviously, that makes sense. So Z minus 1 equals I, and Z equals 1 plus I. And that's the other solution. And we just found that with the first method, too. But which method do you like better? Please let me know. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe. Take care and bye-bye.